Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today for Frugal Friday, I'm gonna show you how to refill a Posca marker. You hear that? That is an empty Posca pen. So a few years ago, I did a video on how to refill your Micron pens and also your Posca markers, but at that time, I didn't realize that you could unscrew the top. I tried to and I couldn't. So what I did was I pulled out the tip and I would just drip in a little bit of diluted acrylic paint or white acrylic ink and I put the back in, the then nip back in and go on my way and that was fine. At least it would tide me over till I could buy another Posca marker. But then I realized that you can actually unscrew the top. Now it's gonna be really hard to unscrew if you've never done that before. So by wrapping, if you wrap a rubber band around the top, I'll just show you here. Uh, if you wrap a rubber band around, it will give you a little bit of a um, extra grip so that you'll be able to kind of grip it and then you're gonna unscrew it the opposite way of what you expect. So it's kind of, um, it's kind of a little a little weird to get used to, but um, the rubber band really helps. So you can see like all the little parts are falling out. And that's fine, because you might actually want to take this apart and clean it if it's been cloggy. But um, I don't think we'll need to do that today. Definitely put something down in your workspace so you don't get paint everywhere, but this is what you can do. Now there's two things you can do. You can either use white acrylic ink and just use the droppers to fill up your, your bottle. There's a little ball bearing in this empty thing too. You wanna to make sure that uh, you got the ball bearing in there. It comes with your marker. What I prefer actually is this paint. It's called Blockout White and it's by Chromacryl. And I like it because it's a very affordable, um, it's a very yeah. affordable acrylic paint. It's a student grade paint, actually. I buy it from Blick. I'll link it down below. Um, but it's very matte and very opaque. So even if I dilute it down, which I'm going to do, I'm going to put some in here and I'm going to dilute it with about um, probably, probably equal parts water. And I've just got some bottled water here, some distilled water. And I'm going to pour that in there. And then I'm just gonna give that a stir. I think I'll probably use, just use a little end of a paintbrush, I think. And you're gonna want the consistency of, um, I'm gonna shake it up, that'll be a little easier. You want the consistency of like a heavy cream or kind of like a coffee creamer. or acrylic ink consistency, if you've ever used acrylic ink. I like shaking that up. And then you can take a look and see what we got here. Boy, that seems about right. What I'm gonna do though to test it is I'll just see how opaque that is. Okay, I think I need a little bit more because that's not really super duper opaque. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more paint. And I've got this, these little bottles. I can save any leftover, um, any leftover, ink so I can refill it again later. Or I could pour it into one of my bottles of acrylic ink because it's really not that different. I do find acrylic ink does tend to be a little bit glossier and usually I prefer a matte. I want a matte pen. You can even use gouache if you wanted to, but then it will like reactivate if you brush water over it. And a Posca pen is more of an acrylic, so like you could watercolor over it and not dilute it after it dries. All right, we'll try this. Ah, got a bubble. Let's see. All right, I think that's gonna be plenty opaque. Now, uh, make sure you wash your brush off really well, wipe off the handle. I'll take that upstairs and wash it with soap like normal. And then what I'm gonna do, since I have these, uh, these acrylic inks, they're just white acrylic inks out anyway, I'm just gonna use the pipettes from here to fill up my uh, my pen. So there, there's a bell bearing in there and it's going to take a lot more ink than you probably realize. Now if you are getting a clog, so like you go to use it and um, and you're noticing that like it's just not running smoothly, it's skipping, um, then what you can do is you can take that top part, take it all apart and just put it in some warm water and maybe even just in a little jar with warm water and give it a good shake. Get any of that, um, get any of that loose ink unstuck. If it's, if you really have like dried ink in there, you can use rubbing alcohol. Just, I would use straight wet rubbing alcohol. You could even use like a little, uh, like a stiff brush or something. That's pretty full. You could have a little space in there because um, you want that ball bearing to be able to move around. And then, Let's see, how 
does that go? I think it goes like that. Oof. This is kind of a messy project. So like I will often refill all my pens at once. I don't dilute ink for all of them, uh, dilute paint for all of them, just for the white. The other ones I will just use my Dr. Peach Martin's, um, the, it's called Private Collection Acrylic Ink. They may, he might, they may have a different name for it now. This is a couple years old. Use that or you can use any like, maybe you got a good deal on acrylic ink on a clearance sale or something. You can use that. It's going to work just fine because it's already thinned down. But my white, I like to use the Blockout White from Chroma Krill because it is, um, it's my preferred white anyway, my, my preferred craft white paint to buy. Um, but it's just, uh, it's just so opaque and matte and it, uh, it's so opaque that I can dilute it way down with water to get it to the consistency that I want and it gives me beautiful results. So now the proof is in the pudding. Hopefully this works. Oh, pressure's on guys. Frugal Friday, man. Pressure's on. I've actually had a lot of requests to do this. Look at that. We're working good. Now, um, I want to make sure that I've gotten any old ink out. So I'm going to give it a couple pumps. Make sure it's flowing good. There. Beautiful. We got nice white opaque ink. And I honestly, I like this as well as the, um, as the original Posca ink. And if you find that, um, it's not quite opaque enough, like if you're working, I think this is fine, but if you find that it's like, it's just not quite opaque enough, you can put some more paint in your mixing cup, shake it up again, you dump this out and mix it all up, you know, dump this out, mix it up, add a little more paint to it. Just make sure you don't lose that ball bearing if you do that. And, um, you can... You can make some more. You can adjust it. So I like that. It's better to go too thin than too thick because you can always add a little bit more paint. In fact, you probably could even, well, let's give it a try. Let's try. And if I mess it up, I'll mess it up on mine. You won't have to do it on yours because I feel like it could be a little bit more opaque. Let's, oh, I can't, still keep wanting to turn it the wrong way. Let's try this. Let me pour out just a little. I don't want to pour out that ball bearing. I'm going to pour a little bit back. I'll put a drop of paint. I'll see if I can mix it right in the ah, crud. <sighs> I lost the ball bearing. Ah, oh, all right. Might as well just dump it all out then. That's going to be fun to fish that out. <laughs> That's why I tell you, don't lose the ball bearing. All right, I'm going to add some more paint. It's pretty forgiving. These pens are, they're meant to be disposable, but I'm telling you, they are so good that you don't need to dispose of them. How am I getting the ball bearing out? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I do know. I do know this is going to make a mess, but I'll show you how I'm going to get it out. Well, we got that ball bearing in there. That's going to help things. Uh, I should have an extra ball bearing is what I should do. Okay, so here's how I'm going to get the ball bearing out. <laughs> so I saved these little corners. These come, these are what, um, these are, you know what? Oh, I should have another jar. These are what, I'm just going to use this. Um, when you buy like a pad of watercolor paper, sometimes it comes with, um, with like, um, little corners on it. And that did. And so I saved the little corners and lo and behold, I'm using it as a strainer to get that ball bearing out of there. Why can't these ever go simple? How come my DIYs are often DI don'ts? DIY don'ts? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this from here. It is a little thicker, I can tell it's having a harder time going into the, hopefully we're in screen. Oh, good, we are. Oh, what I do for my viewers, making a mess. Make sure you clean off the threads really well before you put that cap back on. If you dribble any like I just did, because that's going to be difficult to, um, it'll be difficult. A little ball bearing back in there. Oh, I need to drop it on the floor. Oh man. <laughs> I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, make sure you clean off the threads on this this thing because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get it apart again. 
So, luckily, I don't have any compulsion to have my all of my supplies look perfect. This is probably not the the project for you if you want everything to look brand new and pristine because, well, clearly it's not going to be brand new and pristine. We're DIYing a fix, right? We're DIYing. Is it a DIY don't? <laughs> All the time will tell. Actually, it's always worked well for me, so give it a good shake. And then the proof is in the pudding. Let's see how opaque this version is. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I'm going to pump it just to make sure that I've got that new stuff through. Now, again, if you, that's nice and opaque. If you find yourself um, getting clogs with your DIY version, it might be too thick. So, you know, dump it out in your mixing container, add a drop of water, and, you know, pour it back in. Just don't lose your ball bearing. Or, I don't know, find a bead, a glass bead that you can go and, and replace it with. But that's working really good. And, yeah, so that's how I refill my Posca pens. And, um, you know, if you do use up a bottle of ink, it would be a good idea to save that for make, putting your refills in. Actually, if I don't have too much, if I have space, I might just top off those inks. Yeah, I think I'll store it right in those bottles, because why not? And then I'll just clean up this little container for something else. Yeah, by, by the time I'm done, this ink will be perfect. I find I just find that the... Uh, that I, you can use these, they work great, but I prefer the block out white just because it's a little more matte and it's a little bit, um, I don't know, I just like the effect of it. I think it's a little bit more opaque because I think the acrylic inks have a little bit of a, um, like a varnish in them or something. Uh, the colored ones, I use the colored um, acrylic inks to fill my colored gel pen, um, oh my gosh, paint pens, but for the white ones, I like to use a block of white, but there you have it. I hope you found that useful, and thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this Frugal Friday. Bye!